In our ports and in our airports, the UK Border Agency is fighting a constant battle against smugglers. I'm arresting you. Oh, dear me. Coming up, one man is confused as to who his bag belongs to. This is your bag? This is your own bag? No. He just picked up this bag to walk through customs. On an inbound flight from Madrid, one passenger seems to let his nerves get the better of him. Do you want to sit down? Because you look like you're about to fall down. I don't know why I'm nervous. And one repeat smuggler gets his memory jogged. Have you ever been stopped by customs before? Yeah. yeah. OK. Obviously, you should know them by now. It's early morning at Gatwick Airport, and a flight has just arrived from Montego Bay in Jamaica, a place known to the UK border agency as a hotspot for the trade of illegal drugs. Kill them. Vigilant officers have been using sniffer dogs to assess luggage from the flight, and they've identified a brown suitcase which they suspect contains illegal drugs. In the immigration hall, passengers are being observed as they come off the flight. One man with a white jacket and red shirt has been seen to be acting very nervously. As he waits at the luggage carousel for his suitcase, he appears to be getting more and more anxious. He spots the brown suitcase that's suspected of containing drugs, goes to pick it up, but quickly leaves it on the belt. As the brown suitcase comes past again, the man stares at it intently and seems unsure about whether to pick it up. He later leaves with someone else's red suitcase. But as he passes through the customs channels, he stopped to answer a few questions. The officer checks the luggage tag with the man's travel ticket, which prompts him to have a change of heart. The man is escorted back to the baggage hall to look for his real suitcase, but it's already been found. It's the same brown suitcase he was staring at on the carousel, and which is thought to contain drugs. He's led away to a private interview room for further questioning. I'm sure it's got nothing to do with him. I think it's a female's name. Officers look inside the red suitcase to see who it might belong to. I, I think he realised that people were sort of confirmed um, onto him, possibly, and so what he's done is he's just picked up a random bag. He's taken the tags off of the bag, which associates him to the other bag, and then he's just picked up this bag to walk through customs. With the red suitcase on its way back to its rightful owner, officers can now concentrate on the contents of the man's real bag which they strongly suspect contains illegal drugs. He's led away to the airport's custody suite, where the contents of his suitcase can be formally assessed. At Gatwick South Terminal, passengers have just landed from Madrid. In the immigration hall, officers are looking out for any signs of suspicious behavior. Passengers who appear nervous will be pulled over in the customs channels. Officers will then check to ensure they're not carrying anything illegal. A Brazilian passenger from the Madrid flight has been spotted sweating profusely, so officers take him aside to search his suitcase. Basically, he came through immigration. It was the usual sort of nervous, um, didn't really answer immigration's questions and that. 
And how long are you going to be in the UK? No, I'm leaving tonight. Okay, going I'm back to Brazil? Yes, back to Brazil. And you've travelled all over Europe, is that what? Uh, <coughs> I, I don't understand. On this trip? Okay. You've been to lots of places, yes? Yes, uh, Barcelona, Madrid, Istanbul, and London. Do you want to sit down? Because you look like you're about to fall down. No, it's okay. You're okay. All right, so I understand from listening to you in immigration that it was a business trip. Okay, yes, it is. Is that right? Yes, I was with my representatives here and in Istanbul, Barcelona, and Madrid. Just for meetings? Just, or yes, what? meetings. Mm -hmm. And of course, some tourism too, okay? I don't know why I'm nervous. It's just because it never happened to me to be so questioned like as this time. Yes. But you attend meetings all the time, yeah, for your yes. job. So you must be familiar with travelling yes, and being yes. questioned by people. Yes. Yeah? I, I, I so why is, why is it a problem now? No, no reason for. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. The man's anxiety leads the officer to doubt his story, so his bags will be thoroughly searched for any illicit items. Officer Fitz assists by swab testing his possessions to see if he's come into contact with any drugs. The swab is then taken for analysis using a machine that can detect even the tiniest traces. Coming on the iron track. This time, the swab test is clear, but the man's nervous behavior is still alarming. His suitcase is x-rayed to check for unlawful concealments. Be that nervous, isn't it? That's scary. Mm. Was it his first time? Yeah, he's making a traveller. Nice find. Nothing is found in his belongings, but officers want to check he's not hiding anything on his body. Just a rough down search. You understand? Okay, you don't understand. All right. I'm going to ask two male officers okay. to take you to a private room and give you a rough down search. Like you okay. go, when you go through security, just, uh, you get patted down. No problem. Yeah. One way or another, they'll find out why he's so nervous. With you, yeah? I, I, I beg At Gatwick's custody suite, the man who's been arrested on suspicion of importing a suitcase full of illegal drugs is being checked in. The brown suitcase he tried to ditch in the baggage hall is taken away to be examined. The whole bag together was 29 kilos. Now, there, there is some stuff in there, but I would think that there's probably approximately 20 kilos of cannabis here. Eight blocks of what looks like herbal cannabis are pulled from the man's case. It's no wonder he was keen to avoid being caught. The man is held in a cell whilst the packages of drugs are weighed. 16 kilos, 16.07. I had to cut every one of this. It looks like it is herbal cannabis. I mean, as soon as you cut into it, there's a, there's a quite a strong pungent smell. I mean, it's actually surrounded, you know, in the whole room now. But um, I had to check all of them because sometimes they have mixed cocaine with cannabis. A field test is done to confirm the substance definitely is herbal cannabis. The positive indication should be a a kind of like a, a red, reddish colour. See, there we go. That's that's a positive indication for herbal cannabis. With a street value of more than forty-five thousand pounds, it's an excellent result for the officers. All the man can do now is await his fate. In the airport's south terminal, the man whose nervous behavior and profuse sweating has aroused suspicion is being taken for a body search. OK, if you just put your bags up onto the bench for me, yeah. Yeah, just put the bags there. And if you just want to take a seat over on the far end. I'm very nervous. I don't know why. <laughs> very nervous? Yes. OK. Despite his nerves, the man consents to the search. Yeah, next one. That's great, that's fine. OK. <laughs> His shoes are removed, so they can be swab tested for any traces of drugs. If he's uh, got 
left drugs internally, and he'll sweat, and it will come out. The sweat partly will be in the shoes. So if this test is positive, then he's either used or he's swallowed. Once again, the swab is clear, but Officer Fitz has uncovered some revealing secrets. Yeah, he did actually admit that he's actually yeah. quite nervous. I sort of like, yeah. I mean, it was the, he had quite a few um, pills in his little, his little small holdle. Uh, so obviously, there was one for sort of like for mere sickness, yeah. and there's like these other blue pills. So I said, "Oh, what are these?" And he's like, I'm, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> The man confesses to have recently taken Viagra which may explain his nervous behaviour. This sort of thing hasn't happened to him before since he's, since he's been travelling for so long. So I think he's just very nervous that he's had to go through all the security appearances. So. But he, apart from that, he's such a nice chap. OK, then, sir. OK, here's your shoes. Yep, no problem. Want to put those back on. With all the searches now complete and the reasons for the man's anxiety exposed, he's now free to continue his onward journey. Okay, thank you very much. Coming up, officers discover a massive haul of tobacco in the cargo area. If you open up the plastic, there's quite a strong smell of tobacco. There we go. Coming up, a repeat smuggler plays innocent. Have you ever been stopped by customs before? Yeah. OK. So obviously, you should know them by now, shouldn't you? At Gatwick Airport, the UK border agency have a duty of care to assess all passengers and items entering the country. Each year, officers have to check thousands of tonnes of freight passing through the airport. Right, here you go. This looks like the one. Today, Officer Sarah is in the cargo holding area after being asked to check a large number of packages that have just come in from the Far East. What we've got here is um, a consignment that's um, originated in from uh, Hong Kong. It's marked up as clothing accessories. Um, so we've just come over to have a closer look to see what's inside here. What we've got is what looks like large spools here, which look like they're some kind of um, braiding. Oh. If you open up the plastic, there's quite a strong smell of tobacco coming out of here. Yeah, it smells quite strong. With suspicions aroused, there's only one way to find out what's inside. Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. If each of the reels is filled with tobacco, it will be a concealment worth many thousands of pounds. This consignment is marked originally from Hong Kong, where tobacco, loose tobacco, is obviously a lot cheaper than here in the UK. Um, duty levels are quite high. Um, and there's a huge black market in smuggled tobacco. And uh, this consignment here is about 130 boxes. The reels of tobacco are taken away to be weighed. Officers need to work out how much they found before investigating where it's come from. Well, there's there's three, three reels here, 40 kilos. If you take off the cardboard and the, um, and the string, it's probably about 10 kilos, I'd, I'd estimate, um, in each bale. The unpaid duty for 10 kilos of loose tobacco is worth 1,600 pounds. OK, 10 kilos. It is a huge amount of effort, but considering the amount of money that these gangs are going to make, for them, it's, it's obviously worth going to this, this effort. In addition to the risk of smoking, there could be additional products in this tobacco, which are even worse for your health than the usual nicotine and tar. With the haul weighing over 650 kilos, the lost revenue to the tax system would have been over £100,000. It's the biggest ever seizure of loose tobacco at Gatwick. It's just a routine, routine examination by the guys and obviously very good work in, in picking this up. In Gatwick's south terminal, a flight has just landed from Tripoli in Libya. As passengers make their way through baggage reclaim, Officer Helen and sniffer dog Bren are checking passengers for the presence of drugs. 
A lone female passing through customs is of great interest to Bren, so she stopped for further checks by Officer Hazel. Okay, you can come with me. Come on, bring your bags around here for me. Almost immediately, the woman's story seems unconvincing. So where will you stay in England? Whereabouts in Bristol? You don't know? <laughs> Do you have anybody meeting you here at Gatwick? Yeah. Who's meeting you? A friend. You just said you don't have any friends or family in England. I don't have any friends, but I just called him. The woman's story keeps changing, which is giving Hazel cause for concern. I'm just going to go and speak to my colleague, OK? If you stay here, just finish repacking your bag. Can I have a search on this girl, please? When I asked her if she had friends or family in England, first of all, she said no. And then she said that she'd called somebody here <sighs> and that they were going to meet her at the airport. She's got 900 pounds, she's really nervous, but she hasn't got a proper address. Coupled with the sniffer dog indication, Hazel is convinced there's more to the woman than meets the eye. She's so nervous, she's only got 900 pounds, so I'm gonna get her, well, I'm gonna do the search of person and see if she's got anything. Right, OK. Because the dog was sniffing at you, he's a drug detector dog. So I need to make sure that you're not carrying any drugs on you or in you, OK? All right, myself and my colleague are going to do a search of your person, OK? It has been authorised by a senior colleague. All right, do your bag up, first of all. OK, if you bring your bag and follow me. Go into the room for me. Just go in, take a seat. OK, can you just check that there's nothing on the floor? Nothing's been left in here, has it? But well, I just need you to sign there to say that you're OK to be searched. The officers find nothing during the search, but due to the dog indication, Hazel decides to do one more test. OK, we have a machine here that x-rays you to make sure that you've not got anything inside of you, OK? The machine's just in the hall there, so it won't take very long at all. If the woman is smuggling drugs internally, officers will know in a matter of minutes. It's the middle of the afternoon and a flight has just come in from Moldova. Being outside the European Union, passengers have a strict cigarette allowance of just 200. In the baggage reclaim area, officers are closely monitoring a Moldovan passenger who has a prior history for smuggling cigarettes. As he heads through the green customs channel, Officer Fitz pulls him over for further questioning. All right, sir. Hello. All right, where are you from today? Just now. Just now. Yes. Travelling on your own? Sorry? Travelling on your own? Are you travelling on your own? Yes. Yes, OK. Come here for a minute. How long have you been away for? Uh, one month. One month? Yes. And what was your purpose of your visit? Holiday? Not holiday. Just holiday? No holiday. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So you've been away on holiday. Yes. Right. Are you aware of your customs allowances? One carton of cigarettes, liter of spirits, and goods up to three hundred and ninety pounds worth. Yeah. And none of those items at all. Okay. Well, I'll have a look in there. It's all right. So right. I'll have a look. All right. Let me move this over here. With the man's previous history for smuggling cigarettes, Fitz knows not to take him at his word. And straight away, he finds a 200 pack of cigarettes. If the passenger's carrying any more, he'll have breached his allowance. A little deeper in the case, Fitz stumbles across a brown chocolate box, which is clearly being used to hide packs of cigarettes. As the box is opened, individual packs of cigarettes are found concealed within drawers. The man is way over his allowance, and he knows it. Just for yourself. Why are you putting them in here for? Why have you put them in here? Basically, you were trying to hide them, weren't you? I just bought them. Sorry? I just bought them. I know they're for yourself, but you tried to hide them from me, didn't you? I didn't know that this is a problem. All right, and we'll just ask me this question. Have you been stopped by customs before? Huh? 
Have you ever been stopped by customs before? Yeah. yeah. OK. So obviously you should know them by now, shouldn't you? This is a seizure notice that say that I'm seizing 800 cigarettes from you. So I need your signature there, full name and date. Lies and deceit are a challenge faced by officers every day. This is a warning letter. If it happens again, it might be taken further. All right. All of the man's cigarettes are seized once again. Fitz provides him with a guidance leaflet about his customs allowances. Right? You've got it? Oh, you've got it. So you know then, do you? All right. With all pretense dropped, the man is free to go. 800 cigarettes lighter. In one of Gatwick Airport's X-ray suites, a woman who's flown in from Libya has been taken for a full body scan. 390, I think you. You said you don't have an address to stay at in England. But you don't know where you're sleeping tonight. Okay. Right, okay. This is consent for x-ray examination. Okay. Thank you. The woman confirms she's happy to do the x-ray voluntarily. Okay, what I need you to do is breathe in now. When it when the belt starts to move, breathe out slowly, okay? With a suspicious and inconsistent story, there's good reason to put her through the x-ray. But finding nothing out of the ordinary, the woman is no longer suspected of importing illegal drugs. She's escorted back into the terminal. Despite no evidence for drugs, her reasons for being in the UK are still doubtful, so officers in immigration will investigate her story further. Brought her back to immigration because I believe she's here to work. But it's out of my hands now. It's down to my immigration colleagues to decide what they do with her. Well, listen, I'm going to leave it with the immigration officers, OK? From a customs point of view, we're happy that you don't have anything you shouldn't have, OK? If you just take a seat, the immigration officers will be with you soon, OK? Just sit down, all right? The woman was later interviewed by UK border agency officers working in immigration. She was eventually allowed to enter the UK on her student visa. The cannabis smuggler pleaded guilty to attempting to smuggle 16 kilograms into the UK. He's now serving 18 months in prison.